Hello everyone! Welcome to episode 2 of City Skylines Let's Design with Simulator, where some changes took place in our city of Bonito Coast. And the reason for that is, if you watched episode 1 uh, till the end, uh, you may remember that I asked for recommendations, and I got some. We had a little conversation in our comment section with uh, Daniel, and he suggested to have this highway going through the central business district, but you may ask why it is already there. Well, it was supposed to be a video, uh, and you, so you could possibly see the whole process of me building it, but the recording got screwed up, business as usual, and so <laughs> there were pretty much no other better solutions to this. I could demolish this whole highway and everything I did and record again, but I felt like no, it took so much time and I might, I may not make it as good as it is right now. Let me turn the simulation on. So that is that. At first, I didn't, I didn't think it would be a good idea to put a highway there, but then. The more I was thinking about it, and uh, Daniel gave some pictures and some good reasons for it, so I think it might help the traffic after all, we'll see. And here you can see I've also changed the feeling of our roundabout, the, what we feel it with. I've put this statue of wealth inside, I think this way it looks much more interesting and better. And It is right in the middle of our central business district, downtown, whatever. And here also you can see the bridge. I really like how it looks, this highway bridge. And yeah, that's pretty much how our situation, where we are right now. But you see where I'm putting right now. I've decided to make a connection with this this whole highways, with this, all these highways, but no one was actually using this road that is uh, on the bottom right now. So this new highway became a shortcut, and so no one was ever using it. So I've decided instead to demolish this, this ramps at first, but then I thought, now nah, let's just, let's just make it like that, you'll see. I thought maybe if we connect them like this, because there are multiple entrances to our city, I th I think. I'm, not, I'm still not quite sure about the mechanics, but I think there are multiple entrances, so cars will go in and go out through different points, and this way it won't be a shortcut, it will be just another way, another possibility. And so hopefully it will be better this way. I think it would, as, as I've seen so far. And uh, yeah, is if if you could see, I have used this three-way stack intersection. It was made by Skystorm. Really useful, really beautiful. I like it. And uh, we now gonna zone some more high density residential because these shops that were that are in the middle they demand workers and also I've changed this is as, as you can tell already I've changed the road that was to four lane in the two way lane road but with one way because uh, now it is connected to the highway and so I feel like it would be better this way for the traffic, I don't know, we'll see. As far as I've seen, it's alright, yeah, it's alright. And I wasn't sure if I had to put the fire station there, but... Because I, I usually... I, I think like, cars will go, the fire trucks will go to this area where the fire is, but due to the... Mm, our, um, you know, zoning or 
I'm just trying to say that it doesn't cover. It looks like it doesn't cover. So to our data data layer map. So I don't know it is if it is necessary, but let it be there. And so I put some other roads trying to make a rather interesting grid. And shops are still not that happy, so we're gonna do something about that. And because there is a highway now, there's going to be a noise pollution. We're gonna have to deal with that also. And as far as I know, offices don't mind my uh, noise pollution, so I think we I feel like we're gonna have some over there. But offices require educations, edu education, so now I put this fancy, beautiful, modern high school. And in this episode, it is going to be more about design because in episode one, we just gotta have, we just had to make the beginning and just lay some roads. There's nothing really you can do. But now, as we go, and as you can see, I've downloaded some mods, some beautiful packs. There it is a plaza, really beautiful. I like it, and this parking lots because we are in a downtown, so I feel like. It is always a problem there to find a parking place. And it is right next to the high school, so it all makes sense and looks great, I think. And what I also like about these parkings is that they have uh, the same texture. The, the pavement is the same as with the um, pedestrian paths that are alongside the roads. So it looks way more natural and just great together and I was still thinking how should I fill the rest because at first I didn't think I didn't think that we need that much of a pack in place but instead I'm gonna do this and now I put some pedestrian paths around the high school and this basketball court or whatever it's called, this basketball thing. And some other pedestrian paths. I feel like uh, high school students can use it uh, like during the physical education class or whatever. So it makes sense. And have some more trees. Some tree lines. And uh, at this point, I, I just decided to get rid of this plaza and I was still I still was hoping to get an idea I was trying to put these paths and then maybe to make like a nice looking lane but nothing seemed to work so I just had to fill the rest of it with some other parking lots you'll see And uh, come on, yes, there they are. And I think it looks alright. I think I mean, it's a busy part of the town, and traffic might be and will be an issue. And you need to park your cars somewhere. Many citizens citizens do have cars. <laughs> and then I just put the roads so we can have some more residential area though I feel like soon I will get off the track and I will put too many and because I, I wasn't paying attention to the bars that show what do you need it's on the bottom of the screen as you can see there, there is a high demand for commercial though they're complaining that they need workers so I'm still not quite don't quite understand this game. And we and we had some problems with electricity, and then I was making sure that we have the water and everything covered over here. And now we already have some apartment buildings popping up. And I really like how this high school ended up looking. I was <laughs> I kept on 
coming back to it and looking at it, and it just it is pretty. I like it. And then I felt like a bus depot would be all right here. It may help our whole situation. And I really like that cows cars actually using the roundabout or six lane roundabout. I wasn't sure that it would be necessary, but they actually do. It's great. And I had some problems with electricity and with um, this um, I don't know, with, you know these buildings. They were asking for electricity, yet the area was covered. So I and the electricity availability bar shows that it's all right, but I don't know for some reason they were complaining. I don't know. I I try to put some more of this wind power things, but yeah, it figured it out somehow, but I still didn't understand how. And then we have some more buildings, and I really like how this looks. Maybe it's too much, but maybe, nah, I like it. And then we gotta put some more trees, and in this episode there is going to be a lot of work with parks and paths and you'll see it. <laughs> and again some more trees of different types and we gotta do something with our you see I'm just filling it all with trees right now the these triangles because in the middle we have no spot but later it's gonna be great. <laughs> oh yes it's gonna be great. I, I'm planning on making something cool there and uh, something different in each and every one of these triangles and then I've decided to because we have unlimited money let's just <laughs> cheat with the budget and hopefully people won't st will stop complaining and we'll do what we want from them build some beautiful buildings for the purpose of making our city look gorgeous and I totally forgot about the bus depot, bus station and now I came back to it and come back to it and put some bus stops and I was trying to be accurate with them because oh my gosh so happy I was trying to be accurate because uh, uh, it is I feel like it is important to cover area not just like putting some bus stops there and over there and here but I try to really think about it so I am um, maybe we will just have one lane this one path on the one part of the town like it's on the bottom now and another bus pathway on the other part anyways <laughs> and still some problems with electricity don't really know why then I had to put even more power lines which I hate you see some are happy now some are still complaining oh my gosh so many abandoned buildings I'm gonna have to download this mod that automatically bulldozes it all yeah I will for sure but it's all for now later they will be all good and we'll stop complaining so much but still it was an issue so I had to put even more even more I don't think it was actually necessary but or maybe it was you see it's all good now and there a dead person is waiting for transport. I was like, hmm, so we have some problems with healthcare or what? But I totally forgot about the graveyard. <laughs> that we, yeah, I will put it later, but for a long time I was just... Yeah. Uh, uh, by the way, I'm really glad people are actually using our uh, parking lots. Look, there are actually cars. That's great. 
and yeah let's just check some is education is still not the best so I tried to cheat with our city policies because we have a limited amount of money so let's just get it all and hope that our citizens will be much happier and it looks like our buildings are starting to grow up feels like and you see th there was no not much not enough spot for apartment buildings to pop there so I feel like it is time to make something different so we're gonna have this uh, pedestrian paths with tree lines this little alley alley never mind and yeah some more trees I think I think it looks great this way it just connects the roads and people you see people already use it so that's great and for some reason our um, statue of wealth that is in the middle of a roundabout will be complaining this whole episode about the crime raid I'll figure it out later and if you're wondering by the way how did I manage to put it in the middle because if you play this game you may know that uh, you can only put buildings next to roads and you can't do it to the pedestrian path which is which is kind of frustrating but it is what it is so it is super easy and uh, you'll see it later I will use this method later um, you all you need to do is just to put a just a regular road dirt road I, I usually use but I feel like you can use any road you wish put the lot and then demolish it and the building will stay and I'm not sure that it will actually properly work but it looks like it would because it looks like it does for me <laughs> and uh, you see I'm already doing what I promised filling the triangles with something different not just with trees it's just these forests and uh, it's like a park there now where people can walk or go hiking or what not and it just looks way better I think I might change it a little bit later like I don't know how <laughs> maybe put some tree lines alongside the paths uh, also on the inside or the, on the outside but we'll see and then I finally <laughs> it, it hit me that oh my gosh I need a, this uh, cemetery I'm not sure about the word where you bury people you know and I felt like I don't want it to be in our downtown area so I try to put it somewhere further because we still don't have our suburban area still later we'll do it in our I don't know maybe the next or in a couple of soon yeah soon So I was putting this road a little bit further from the high-rise buildings and there it is. Maybe we'll have some low-density buildings over here or it would be nice to have like not little houses but like townhouses with three or four um, floors and as you can see traffic got bad over here and I tried to replace this two lane roundabout with six lane one not sure it will actually help as far as I have seen mm, not really so I might have to figure it out later I will think about it but later for now we don't have time for this and so now 
we got one of our triangles done. Let's get to another one. I didn't feel like putting just a bunch of trees there, so we got our pedestrian path situation over here. And uh, I make some entrances from different sides. And over here and over there. And obviously some tree lines. And I really like how it ended up looking. It just. just way better and more efficient, I guess. I'm not sure about this word. And. Uh, but I still didn't feel like only this path is, is enough so I'm gonna put this plaza that you have already seen if you didn't skip any parts of the video and watch it <laughs> watch it uh, watch the whole video <laughs> uh, and here's the method that I was talking about just put a road then the lot that you would like and then demolish the road and it will stay there nicely. And then these paths come back and I had to connect them to the road once again. And uh, I was trying different variants and some... You see, we have this not that good looking situation where we have free spots, so I don't know. So I try to fill them with trees. I feel like it's a nice idea, by the way. I might use it later somewhere, but not here. I will get rid of this because I've noticed that the land around the plaza, this little park, I don't know, it was surrounded on some sides with dirt or sand. It, it, it is a dirt probably, but it's, it's the color of sand. So I had to surround it with pedestrian paths a little bit better. And that's what I'm doing. It wasn't letting me do it, so I had to demolish it and then put this and then there was not enough space. So I felt like, eh, it's a war. This is just here it is, it is. And then. But. I like it. I like it, and we have. Uh, this. Uh, two pedestrian paths now over there, and I think it's much better, not just like one where you need to find a corner. <laughs> Where's. Where can I go? And it's like. It's better. It's better. Never mind. And then some more trees, and over here we'll just cover some corners. You need to do something different, I guess, so it uh, it will be all nicer. And here we'll just fill it all with different trees for good look. But yeah. A lot of work has been done this time, I feel like, but you've missed a lot, obviously, this highway, which I really like, that goes through the downtown, and the new park in the middle of the roundabout, you can see it right now. But anyways, thank you so much for watching, please leave a like if you like this series, leave a comment, I still love to hear some recommendations from you, last time it was great, you see, it works. So, until next time, stay tuned, and... Goodbye.